Okay, let's set that to a priority. Okay, so that should mean this carbon skimmer does a little bit, bit of work. We're still going to need to get into electrolysis, so we should probably set that as a research priority. Speaking of, doesn't look like we're working on anything new. So where is electrolysis? Oh, we have the rust oxidizer. Oh, but that gets us, uh, ooh. Hydrogen could have been, be a bit of an issue. Okay, well, I'm going to work on that. Hey, thank you, Nick Tyndall. That's... I got to watch out for, like, people with weird... Uh, I'm not going to say disingenuous names, necessarily, but uh, this is a problem with, uh, with stuff like... See, rust oxidizer is great. It generates oxygen and iron ore. Oh, okay. We do have rust. The other problem is it also just produces chlorine, which is an issue. We'll have to see uh, if it just dumps it into a room or not. But if I use a, uh, a gas pump... I mean, I could straight up convert this room entirely over into a... A gas pump of some sort. Be nice if you could just have, like, proper airflow mechanics. I'm going to replace a lot of these old mesh tiles with regular tiles and then airflow tiles like slightly further in so I can get some doors here and there. And yeah, I'd love to figure out how to, well, I could just put a deodorizer in here. Okay, like a vent system that vents. Yeah, sort of. Because really all I need is just a gas pump that isn't a pump. It's just like a slight fan. And it just slowly passes all of our oxygen through it. Doesn't need, need to be fast, doesn't need to be terribly aggressive, just needs to move air through the whole system. Okay. Well, one way or another, that should make this gas pump a lot more effective, and it should move the, uh, hopefully it'll make the deodorizer do work. Do I want to make another deodorizer? Because this whole room is either carbon dioxide or polluted oxygen. I mean, I, I could mildly try and pump some of this out. And get the uh, carbon dioxide maybe in? Wow, that's a lot of germs in there. Turn this back on for a little while. Okay, but I'm just going to have that do its thing. It's not going to do it very well. I might want to heat up this water or something. I could try? Because, yeah, if we take a look at germs... Oh... Uh... Because that's just going to be continuously increasing germs forever. Okay. Hmm. 
Because I'm assuming when I start filtering this water again, it's going to be super germy. We immediately run out of power. We did. <laughs> These poor dupes. Let's see. If you click on food poisoning in the germs tape. Let's see. Looks an infected object. In the germs tab, it'll show you how to kill it. Select an infected object for more. Okay, dying on solid. So the germs are generally going down. It does not say how to kill it there. I mean, here it's it's very clear that like heat's doing the trick. Wait, click on the water, then germs, then food poisoning. Oh, okay, here we go. Killed by gas. And chlorine. Yeah, putting water into a water storage tank that's in chlorine gas will kill the germs in the water. Does that include liquid reservoirs? When you say a storage tank, is that these things? Huh. Because I, I could, I could go back to, once this room is done. Do we also just have chlorine gas hanging out somewhere? Yeah, this is all chlorine. I mean, I could c come through here and just grab all this stuff. Maybe? Hmm. This feels like I'm playing uh, OpenTTD and Factorio again, where my best bet might actually be better. Like, I might actually be better off uh, looking at, like, how somebody else has done this. Because, like, people say, like, yeah, just do this. And I'm like, oh, God, how do I do that without wrecking my, wrecking everyone? Yeah, that's a good system. You just need to trap chlorine around the liquid reservoir. So, if I just filled this room with a bunch of liquid reservoirs, say four of them, and probably just daisy chain the liquid reservoirs, maybe? Is there a way to have it... Because we could have this pump into the liquid res reservoir super chlorine system, then back out. I mean, otherwise there's the heat system and a couple other things. Main problem is this sucker is 
extremely power hungry. Okay, so let's, let's go back to... Make a proper airlock there. Now, can these characters change this? Because I'd love to be able to actually... ...mine this out. I, yeah, let's see. Let's see if they can do it. Okay. Yes, you just need to keep the water in there for a couple of seconds. A valve will work for you, or you can use sensors to detect germs and operate shut off. Huh. Okay. We're also going to need, we're going to need those suits. What do I need for hazard protection? Actually, we're pretty close. Because we don't need a jetpack. Just Atmo suits. I wonder if they'd actually, like, use them here. But yeah, hopefully I could actually even make it that uh, nothing in this room even gets by. Okay, uh, let's deconstruct this thing. This is not going anywhere. We could replace the deodorizer. We still have the car carbon mon monoxide. Is that... Oh, no, no. That's the correct thing. Okay, get that polluted water out of there. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm just gonna put another mesh tile right here. And another deodorizer. Because we might as well convert that over. They can do nothing. It's bad. Let's see. Hey, thank you, Drunken Legends, for the five-month resub. How are you enjoying launch day? I'm enjoying it quite a lot. It definitely got a little bit more complicated than... Uh... I'm turn that back off. Holy crap. Why is this suddenly germy as shit? Oh... It's because the water sieve is functioning again. I gotta disable that. Because, yeah, this just got really germy. Because, yeah, this pump is finally able to suck things up, and this is horror. I'm going to set this to 9 priority. Problem is, we have no oxygen. What 
which means I should start running oxygen down here. Because, yeah, they have to hold their breath for too long. They're not getting anything done. Let's see. Maybe if we had the suits, but hard to say. Okay. I like this character. They're binge eater. Digging, ranching, cooking. And diver's lungs. Okay, so Liera. Let's change your name to... What do we got? Okay, so we got Cries a lot. Hopefully they'll they'll be able to do a little bit more more work here. Maybe. Okay, let's let's set this back to priority five. These characters straight up can't get anything done. They're getting they're picking up the the sandstone. Let's see, you don't want to dig into a natural gas pocket without an airlock. Luckily, I have an airlock right there, and this is just a vacuum. There's nothing in there. I think... I'm gonna cancel that. Okay, let's rethink this. I'm just gonna move that down. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, what I'd like to do is just have an insane... Well, there's a couple of different things I can do. Whoops. Ravikant, did a child get loose? Yeah, luckily we've got effectively like three rooms worth of vacuum to protect against this. I just gotta make it work. Yeah, let's just dig that out. <laughs> you can even tell the uh Oh, the pip's even holding its breath. That's hilarious. Okay, take a look at oxygen. This is almost all carbon dioxide. Well, you know what? Do I just make this a... Oh, that's it holding a seed in its mouth. I gotcha. Because, yeah, this is all carbon dioxide, yeah? Wait, they pick up any loose seeds they find and then plant them. That's amusing. Not super helpful considering I didn't give it a whole lot of room for it, but still. Let me look at this base. We've still got some badniks just floating around. It's not bad. I guess what I could do, now that I'm looking at it, is once I finish this room, we could actually just get rid of all of the polluted water, like, not even have a reservoir sitting here. Just switch it over entirely to this room.
Okay, they're getting some stuff done. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this is pretty much all carbon dioxide, which means it'd be best to filter it all out. I guess, you know what, I'm just gonna deconstruct this, this door. Because it looks like this, this lock is working. And it's probably best that I just actually have the gold generator open air and we just, um... No, that's a stupid idea and I shouldn't, I shouldn't do that in the slightest. I might just put a gas bump in or something like that. I guess move this gas bump. Maybe? The polluted oxygen is still a bit of an inconvenience. Um. Cause yeah, I could I could just move this entire thing. gonna do oxygen not oxygen ventilations we're gonna do that there we pretty much want to do the exact same setup we had earlier Put that there. Okay, so carbon dioxide goes there. Into that little boring room. And power. On the plus side... Oh no, the gas pump... That gas pump's just gonna be working no matter what. Well, it's fine. So I'm just, I'm just gonna disable that and switch it over to this one. Are you set up? You should be set up properly. No gas output. Oh. Priority nine. Did I, oh, did I not, I didn't actually connect these. But yeah, getting us a proper setup here should fix our carbon dioxide, at least in that tunnel. Cause yeah, having all this car carbon dioxide just sitting around is a bad idea anyway. Game is so technical. It is, but in a good way. Okay, so that'll make that work. How are germs looking? Not bad, actually. It's almost all completely dead already. Oh boy, look at that. That's got some germs. Because we have a lot of polluted dirt. Okay, well, we know how to we know how to deal with that. We've just got to we've just got to finish this off. Let's see. Not to add to concerns, there's a maximum wattage for wires. Okay. This is good to know. We're currently about two thirds of the way there, just, just shy. But that is actually very important, and I'll have to get a better setup here. Okay, it does look like we're starting to get oxygen down here. And that's starting to fill out. We do have a fair bit of 
polluted oxygen up here. I'm just gonna stick a deodorizer up here and it's just gonna hopefully take care of some of that stuff. We might wanna almost get the mechanized airlocks. Probably not. Oh yeah, he's just stuck in the wall. I think he's mostly just hanging out there, but still, not great. Okay, still. Good on the oxygen, at least in that lower section. We still, Yeah, we've, we've got some, like, bad pockets here and there, but they'll hopefully get filled out. It's just mainly stuff that gets passed here. But once this system's done, hopefully we won't have to worry about that again. And what do we have here? Choose a blueprint. Care package coal. Not that we immediately need it, but still. Nobody wants to dig that. Because everybody's delivering the coal right now, but no one actually wants to dig there. <gasps> oh... No? It doesn't look like it's too hard. One way or another, we need to dig that. Like, really bad. If I can dig that, we've got enough space. Are the dupes just being lazy? I don't know. I feel like there should be an option to make it so you have to accept new dupes every time they're available. Why not just accept new dupes every time they're available? Like, self-challenge, man. Yeah, but we have we have several people that are set up for super hard digging. I'll stress them out a little bit, but shouldn't be too big of a deal. Farming, grilling. We will need that eventually, but let's get our digging. Yeah, part of it is bad AI, but if the area of work is too far from oxygen, job won't get done. Except for I actually made oxygen a lot closer to it now. Like, they've been in that room before. They can get there. But, like, they start going and then they just, like, turn around and lose interest. I think I've had this problem in a number of... Cases because of the freaking long commutes. A super hard digger might need a. Let's see, Bashy. Oh, you know what? I know why. Priorities. It's because Bashy, well, he's my best digger. Digging. Okay, yes. Somebody did it. Get in there, Bashy. Okay, so next up we want to do a liquid reservoir. Okay. I want 
mesh tiles here. This is gonna take some doing. We could fit some more in here. We'll, we'll see what I need and where I need it. Okay, we're also going to need gas pipes. Or not gas pipes. Plumbing. Liquid pipes. This is really tight positioning wise. I guess this is what liquid bridges are for. I'm gonna have to do that just to make sure it goes. Okay. Okay, I think this is going to work. Okay, so this is going to be... Cancel that for a second. I think we should actually have this be fresh water. I think this is going to work. Going to take some doing, and I still got to get chlorine production going on in here. But man, where do I put that? Uh, let's see. I guess I could just put it down here. The other question I should probably check is rusty oxidizer. I'm gonna build one? Somebody will make it at some point. Okay. But yeah, effectively what we're gonna wanna do is just pipe this entire room into these into this room and pump this entire room filled with chlorine. Eventually I might move it out here into this room that is entirely filled with chlorine, but we're gonna have to get past like some hydrogen and some other stuff and I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Let's see. Oh right, valve. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see, is it a valve? Uh, 
I guess I guess it is a valve. We'll just we'll just go with it. Okay, there we go. Also, if you store bleach stone in that room, it'll emit chlorine, just like oxalite. Let's see, do we have bleach stone, though? Well, there's some bleach stone right there. So, stations. We need refined metal if I'm gonna make any of these. Okay, well, that's the next order of business, I guess. Uh, let's see, that's pathogen. Okay, so brute force refinement, clay to ceramic, and refined materials from... Okay. We might as well head down for metal refinery. There's no rush, but I might as well work on it anyway. Okay, how's oxygen doing? It looks like we're fine. Okay, liquid valve for manual work. Liquid germ sensor plus shut off for automatic cleansing. I'm assuming that's something else. Uh, let's see. Liquid pipe germ sensor. Germ sensor. Okay. Let's go down the, this list then instead of the refinement. Because we can, we can wait on that. Whereas getting this whole setup working is good. And it does look like the... My ridiculous, um... My ridiculous, like, proper airlock setup has completely kept any gas from getting in here, which is nice. And you're know, moving the oxygen down as necessary has made this whole thing possible. Cool. Okay. So let's get that set up there. Nobody's made this thing. We're still waiting on some copper ore. We should probably go get some more copper at some point. Let's see. Luckily, there's like boatloads of materials just kind of waiting out here for me. Probably gonna want those suits first. Yeah, we'll go up for all this, this copper. What's this here? Gold amalgam. Huh. Okay, how much, uh, how much raw mineral? No. Consumable ore. No. Oh, just metal ore. Okay, we've still got a fair bit of... No, actually, we, we are almost out of, out of copper. All right. If this area is also filled with oxygen, it's not really an area that I want to expand to, but I can, at least for now. I love how shiny the metal is when you move around. Yeah, no, it's it's solid. Ooh, security door. I love the fact that there are these facilities that we should check out. Because they look interesting. Definitely once we've got the uh, the suits, though. Yeah, this is filling up, but it's not filling up that fast. So I don't... I'm not in this, like, huge rush. And how's the germs in here? Oh, it's, like, only 2,000. Yeah, so pretty soon we'll be good. I'll still have to worry about my... my... resources a little bit. But it looks like we're done. Okay. I'm gonna deconstruct that. We want the germ sensor. I'm assuming should be soon. 
Eh, soonish. Okay. Well, I should remember that for next time, though, because I should go. So let's overwrite the Vomitoria. I've had fun playing this. I, You guys seem to be enjoying it just about as much as I am. Uh, so I think I'll be back for more of this tomorrow, but I should play other games today just because. So what is Wander building? The de-germifier. Chlorine chamber. It's gonna be kind of bad. Okay, so how does this thing work? While we're here. Oh, so it just outputs. Be nice if I could actually, like, attach, uh, vents and stuff to it. Anyway, I'm not done streaming tonight. I'm just gonna be switching games.